Christmas! I'm Kirk, welcome to Connect. I'm super excited that you're here. What do you like best about Christmas? I love the gifts. I love the family. I love giving gifts. I love talking about Jesus at Christmas. Well, at Connect HQ, they love Christmas, especially giving gifts. But how do you give a gift to Jesus? Well, we have a point that talks all about that. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. You can give to Jesus every day. When you give to those who can't repay. Great job. All right, now it's time for one of my favorite things that we get to do in Connect, and that is worship. So let's go to Connect HQ right now and do some Christmas worship. I love it when we get to connect to God through singing and dancing, especially around Christmas time. During Christmas, we celebrate the greatest gift God has ever given us, His only Son, Jesus. And you know what? We can give Jesus a Christmas gift right now by singing and dancing with all our might. So let's get up on our feet and sing some Christmas songs together.
guys. These Christmas decorations are looking great. But mm, where's the tree? We can't find it. We think the raccoons took it. Those raccoons. What are we going to do if we can't find the tree? Guys, 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 guys. Oh, I found it. Thank goodness. Uh. We may just have to pretend that we've grown two feet taller since last year. If that's all we've got, I guess it'll do. Let's decorate. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. And this is the time we learned how to give the best gifts ever. Whoa, I heard the tree was small this year, but this, that's pretty tiny. Yeah, it kind of makes me sad every time I look at it. If you ask me, that's the least of our problems. What do you mean? I love Christmas. It celebrates Jesus, the best gift ever given. But this year, I've had nonstop parties and gingerbread house competitions. I haven't had any time to spend time with Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it's his birthday and I want to celebrate him, but I've been so distracted with the decorating and the sugar cookies and everything else. How are we supposed to spend time with Jesus while all of this is going on around us? Doc, Jaden, follow me. We have a problem. You both know that tonight is the annual Connect Christmas party. Yep, one of four parties I'm going to this week. Well, some of the field officers that were gonna be here got snowed in, which means they won't be able to make it. Oh man, that's too bad. I always like talking to the field officers in person for a change. I know, but there's another problem. Those field officers that weren't gonna be here, that means they can't bring the gift for the secret gift exchange which means not everybody at the party is gonna get a gift tonight. Oh, yeah, that's not good at all. Which is where you two come in. I still have a lot of decorating to get done before the party tonight, and I was hoping maybe you two could find some gifts for the people on these lists. But, but it's only three hours until the party starts. Right, so you have to be quick and don't tell anyone. So you mean no one's going to know that we got the gifts? How are they supposed to thank us? They won't. It's a secret. I don't know. We would be happy to help. We would? Trust me on this. <laughs> Dot, we are too busy to find more Christmas presents. See, that's the thing. Our biggest problem isn't that we're busy. Our biggest problem is that we're having a hard time focusing on Jesus and his birthday. And finding secret presents for people helps us do that. How? When Alyssa asked us for help, I remembered a verse I learned a couple years ago. Do you want to say it with me? Sure. It's from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 40. It goes like this. Matthew 25, 40. Matthew 25, 40. Whatever you did, whatever you did, for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. You did for me. This verse tells us that when we do kind things for other people who can't do anything nice for us in return, it's the same as doing it for Jesus. Ah, I get it. So finding presents for people and not getting credit for it is one way to do something nice for Jesus's birthday. It's like giving him a present. Exactly. Here. Let's see, the first name on my list is... Harper! Ooh, do you have any ideas? Maybe. She keeps talking about how she wants to try the sport lacrosse. Maybe she'd like a lacrosse stick. <gasps> That's a good idea! What's the first name on your list? Uh, Vanessa. And I have no idea what to get her. Well then, it's time for some spying. Spying? Really? Sure thing. The Bible tells us to look for all sorts of ways to be kind and generous in secret. Come on, let's go. Uh, wait, wait up! Nice. 
Christmas music. We should play music on the PA system here more often. I feel festive already. <laughs> just leave this present here under the tree until the Christmas party. How did your shopping go for the Christmas party, Harper? I was assigned Mike. I was gonna get him another giant gummy bear, but I wanted to get him something more meaningful this year. Oh, that's nice. And at least you had giant gummy bear as a starting point. I had no idea where to start with Jake. Yeah, a wish list would have made this so much easier. That's a good idea. Mine would have said lacrosse sticks right on top. Ooh, nice. Mine would have said a new speaker to play my music on. I think my other one's about to give up on me. You know, I have to admit, a little spying made finding Vanessa's present pretty easy. This is going to be a piece of cake. We'll have all of these presents found in record time. And in secret. Even better. All right, who do we have next on our list? Mine says Maurice. And mine says Rodney. Any ideas? Not off the top of my head. And they're both really busy today, so it'd be harder to spy on them. Well, we have to figure out something, and the sooner the better. I've got it! Mike is really good friends with both of them. Maybe he'll have some ideas. <gasps> Good thinking. Let's find him. Do you think we could use this duct tape? Yeah, just throw it in the bag. We need to be prepared for anything. Oh, and uh, whack. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I've just had it. I tried to give the raccoons the benefit of the doubt. I didn't do anything when they ate all of our snacks. When they toppled over the trash cans, I cleaned up after them. I didn't even say anything when they glued my shoes to the floor. Yeah, I'm not sure that last one But was stealing on our Christmas tree is where I draw the line. So we're gonna go get it back. Jake? Yeah, this is one of the scariest things I've ever agreed to be part of. But I wanna do this for everyone at Connect HQ. I know helping them would make Jesus happy. Even though it won't be easy. All right. I think we have everything we need. Let's go, Jake. Wait, I have a question for you. No time for questions, but you have a little extra time on your hands. We could use all the help we can get in the basement. To war! Yeah. So, who else can we ask for gift ideas? Dot? I think we should help Mike and Jake. But we don't know how long that would take. And even if we help them, we don't know if Mike can help us. I don't want to help him because I think Mike will tell us what we want to know. I want to help him because I think it's the right thing to do. It's another gift we could give to Jesus. You can give to Jesus every day when you give to those who can't repay. You can give to Jesus every day when you give to those who can't repay. We have a little extra time. Come on, let's go help him. Yes! Jake, uh, can you hand me some light? I need some light up here. Here you go. Thank you. All right, hold on a second. How can we help? Uh, Dot, hold the ladder steady. Jaden, prepare to catch this Christmas tree when I pull it up. I've almost got it. Uh-oh. What was that? I... I might have woken up their queen. Uh, 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 here, use this. Uh, great idea. Uh, take that. You'll think twice next time before you steal another Christmas tree from us. Here, catch. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Mike, you have some, uh... Oh. Oh, trash? Yeah, there's a lot up there. They've been collecting for a while. Thanks, you two, for helping out. You've got it. Come on, Jaden. We better get going. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Didn't you two have a question for me or something? Oh! You wouldn't happen to know what Maurice and Rodney would like for their Christmas gifts, would you? Oh. Mm, I'd say 
Sleeping Bag Ninja, season two for Rodney, and some raccoon repellent for Maurice. Huh? Good call. Yeah, we need a bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's coming mm -hmm. back. Oh, oh, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. All right, we should have just enough time to find our last few gifts. There's only two left, right? Right, but... Who's Walter? And who's Betty? Ah. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? You might as well try asking. Have either of you heard of a Walter that works for Connect or Betty? Mm, those names don't ring a bell. Why? Don't tell anyone, but we're supposed to get Christmas presents for them. And no one around here has even heard of them, so we have no idea what to get them. Have you tried asking Alyssa? She's been so busy setting up for the Christmas party, we haven't been able to track her down. I'm sorry we couldn't be more help. I just don't know who else we could ask. And we're running out of time, too. It'd be one thing if we were going to all this effort for someone we knew. But Walter? Betty? We don't know them. Is it really worth the trouble to find gifts for people we've never even met? You know, I saw a video in our archives that I think might answer that question. Do you want to watch it with me? Sure. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. Matthew. Jesus often taught with parables. Those are stories that teach us something about ourselves, like the parable of the sheep and the goats. I don't get it. What do sheep and goats have to do with us? Well, it might help if you understand more about them. First, take sheep. Sheep can't really live on their own. They need a shepherd, and they know how much they need him. So they follow the shepherd closely, and they do what the shepherd says to do. Aw, cute little sheep. Right. Then you have the goats. Goats are stubborn. They do things their own way. They eat anything, even trash. They don't know how much they need the shepherd, so they don't always follow him. Bad, bad goats. Exactly. So Jesus tells about a king who went away. But then the king comes back in glory with all the angels to sit on his throne. Like Jesus. Jesus is coming back. Right! Jesus was telling a true story about himself. He is coming back. And when he does, he will separate people like a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. Some people will go on his right. Those people are like good sheep? Yes. Jesus will say to the people on his right, Hey, I know you. Come into my kingdom. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. And when I was a stranger, you invited me into your home. When I was in prison, you visited me. Wow, they've been busy. When did they do all those things? Jesus said when they did those things for the least of these, they were actually doing it for him. Wait, the least of these? What's that supposed to mean? It means everyone matters to God, and their needs matter to him too even if they can't do anything for you in return or even pay you back. So helping them is like helping Jesus in disguise? Yep, exactly. Then Jesus will talk to the people on his left. Jesus will tell them to go away. Because when he was hungry, they didn't feed him. And when he was thirsty, they didn't give him anything to drink. And when he needed a place to stay, they didn't invite him in. And when he was in prison, they didn't visit. Wait. Why would anyone not help Jesus? Hey, I think I see where this is going. Does that mean those people on Jesus' left didn't help others who couldn't pay them back? They probably did things their own way, like goats. Right. 
Jesus said when they ignored the needs of the least of these, they ignored him. So if we want to do something great for Jesus, we should do something great for people in need and care for them like Jesus does. After all, he's the shepherd. I'm the sheep. 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 God remembers every kind thing, gift, and caring action that you do for someone that is in need and can't give back. And it doesn't matter whether a person's your friend or a stranger. When you see someone who's hungry or thirsty, who's sick and in need, and you help them, Jesus sees it and will bless you for it. And the awesome thing is, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is. Any time that you give to someone in need, it's just like giving to Jesus. I think I'd forgotten all that. Thanks for reminding me. Maybe we've been putting too much pressure on ourselves to find the perfect Christmas gift for everyone. Maybe we should just find some way of telling Walter and Betty thank you for whatever they do for Connect. We can make them shiny Christmas cards and give them cookies. I bet the Whatnots group would help. And I can talk to Chef Elaine. Come on, let's go. can't thank you two enough for tracking down those gifts. You did amazing. I'm pretty sure Maurice is already using his raccoon repellent in the air ducts. That's good. Yeah, those raccoons, they don't mess around. No, they do not. I just have one question. Who are Walter and Betty? Oh, Walter and Betty. They're an older couple that live near Connect HQ. They can't leave their home anymore and they don't really have any family close by. So I just wanted to do something extra to make their Christmas feel really special. I'm glad you did. It's amazing how God has given us so many different ways to care for and be kind to other people. Thanks for asking us to help. Of course. Merry Christmas, you two. And Merry Christmas to Jesus. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dot and I'm part of Connect HQ. I have a great verse that I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. Matthew 25, 40. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. When you do something kind for someone who can't pay you back, it's the same as doing it for Jesus. Jesus gave us the best gift ever when he came to earth as a baby so he could save us from our sins and show us the love of God. Now we can show his love to other people. When we see people in need and we care for them, it's like we're caring for Jesus himself. Christmas is all about celebrating Jesus' birthday. And we can give Jesus a birthday present by giving to other people without expecting anything in return. Anytime we give to Jesus this way, He'll remember the gifts we give and reward us. And the coolest thing is, we don't have to wait until Christmas to give. Don't forget, you can give to Jesus every day when you give to those who can't repay. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Look at these donuts. I am going to get new kinds of donuts every month. Look at them. I'm going to eat all of them. I mean, I guess it would be nice to share my donuts with some other people, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Jesus came to earth as a baby to save us from our sins. When we choose to believe in him as our Lord and Savior, He is with us always. If you wanna make that choice, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. 
C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. And now, let's watch my favorite Christmas music video ever. To Nazareth and meet a girl named Mary An angel came and said she'd have a baby Not only that, but it'd be God's son she'd carry And though this happened a long time ago Let's go And see where Joseph slept and dreamed the night away He wondered what to do about this baby With Mary as his wife, what would people say? An angel told him, don't be afraid Let's go Go tell it on the mountain Traveled all the way to Bethlehem Kind of there because the rule is like a man But Mary was so tired there was no room in the inn A stable would be part of God's great plan Let's go Out to hills where shepherds watched the flock by night When they just came and told them of an amazing sight To you a child is born in Bethlehem this very night Peace on earth, glory to God on high Let's go Go tell it on the mountain Found a new star shining and wondered why Wondered if the king is born, if it was a sign The star will guide us with his holy light Let's go. Find the wondrous gift God gave us long ago His one and only son who came to us so we could know Forever God is with us, now it's up to us to show The love of Jesus so the world can know Let's go, go tell it on That is the most important decision that you can make. If you wanna know more about that, I want you to talk about it as a family before we finish today. All right, we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I want you to say it with me. Are you ready? Great, Matthew 25, 40. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Great job. Now, I have a pretty great gift here that someone gave to me. Now I'm gonna peek inside and give you some clues and you and your family try to guess what it is. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, it's, uh, oh, it's soft. Um, it's a little fuzzy, kind of, kind of small. Uh, it's an animal. You guys have any guesses? It might be an animal that you have. Uh, it barks. Do you know what it is? It's a little, it's a little dog. Yeah, it's my little dog friend. Hey, little dog friend. Yeah, okay. All right, here's the next one. Ooh, ooh. This one is hard. Uh, it's yellow. Um, it has little bumps on it. It has a long arm. It's a machine. You use it to build buildings. Anybody know what it is? It's a crane. Look at that. All right, let's do the next one. Here we go. Ooh, oh, 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 oh my. All right, uh, this is hard, it's long, it's wooden. You use it uh, 
Oh, you use it in sports? Does anybody know what it is? Anybody? Well, let's find out. Oh, it's a bat. Look at that. Da -da 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 -da. Bam. All right. Last one. Here we go. Oh. Hmm. This one's, uh, well, it's green. It has bumps on it. And I, yep, yep, it's kind of small. You, uh, you would eat it. I don't know if you would eat this one, but you would normally eat it. You get it at the grocery store. Um, it's a cucumber, but it's not a cucumber. Anybody have any idea what it is? It's a yodeling pickle. You don't hear that every day. <laughs> Christmas is an amazing time to give and receive gifts, but we can celebrate Jesus every other day of the year when we give to others who can't repay us. Now we have some fantastic questions for you to answer as a family. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me at Connect today, and I will see you guys later.